I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question from a test paper. Now this question is from sinusoidal functions grade 11. Let us look into it in further details. The question here is, a certain town has a 20 meter tall windmill with a tip of one of the blades painted red. Over a period of 30 seconds, that red tip moves from 20 meter from the ground down to 20 meter from the ground and back up to 20 meters away. Write the equation that models the red tip's distance from the ground in terms of time. What is the equation of axis of the equation and what does it represent? How high from the ground is the red tip at 9 seconds? So answer these three questions first and then we'll look into other two questions on the same problem. I'd like you to pause the video, find the equation of the red tip of this blade, windmill blade, and then check with my solution. Okay, so what we are given here is that maximum height is 20 meters of the red tip. So let me write down here, maximum is equals to 20 meters, minimum is equals to 2 meters, right? And the time taken for one revolution is 30 seconds. So T is equals to 30 seconds. Now we are assuming that it has been set here that it starts from the maximum, right? So that is the position where the blade is starting from. So let me sketch this a bit on the side kind of, right? So let us say this is the one revolution we are considering. Now it is clear that this is 20 and this is 2 meters above the ground. Now uh, let me just make a small sketch here which is going to help us uh, to, to answer this question. And this one time period is 30 seconds. So T is 30 seconds. Now obviously this is 15 and the axis is somewhere in between. So let us find the equation of this function by first amplitude is equals to maximum minus minimum divided by 2. That means 20 minus 2 divided by 2. So the amplitude is 9. The axis will be, let us say axis is equal to average value. So we will add 20 and 2 and divide by 2 giving us a value of 11. Time period is k and time period is 30 and therefore k is 360 divided by 30, right? So that gives us a value of 12. Now with all this, we can actually write down a cosine function. Since it starts with maximum, that is better to write, correct? Right? So we say height with respect to time for the blade, red tip blade of the windmill can be written as the amplitude 9, right, cos of k value, which is 12, and um, t, because there is no phase shift, starts with the maximum, plus axis, which is 11. So that becomes the equation for the given function, where height is in meters and t is in seconds, right? So that is how it is. What is the equation of the axis of and what does it represent? Equation of the axis is y equals to 11, correct? And it represents the center of the windmill, right? So let us say that is the windmill, let us say, right? So, so if I kind of sketch it, then it is kind of like this. So axis represents this distance. axis of the windmill above the ground, right? So that is what it is. So how high from the ground is the red tip at 9 seconds? That is part C. To find that, we can substitute 9 here for T and find the answer. That means we need to find what, what is H of 9 equals to. So H of 9 is 9 cos of 12 times 9 plus 11. And let us use our calculator to calculate this answer. So it should be in degrees, the calculator settings 
should be in degrees which is 3 for this calculator and now let's multiply so 3 times cos of within brackets 12 times 9 bracket close uh, plus 1 sorry plus 11 yeah and that gives us 8.2188 so this is 8.2188 so we can approximate this to 8.22 meters now let us look into the other two parts of this question right so let me push this page a bit forward and part D and E is what we are going to explore now the owner of the town's mini golf course would like to install a two-scale version of the windmill on 18 of this course that is 2 meter tall. Write an equation to model the distance between the red tip of the small windmill and the ground. Now that is part D and part E is a golf ball has a diameter of 4.3 centimeters. If the red tip blade of the small windmill is as close to the ground as possible. Will it block the golf ball? Explain. You can pause the video and answer these two parts now. Here is my suggestion. Now here it says that the owner of the town's mini golf course would like to install a two scale version of the windmill on hole 18 of his course that is 2 meter tall. So earlier it was 20 meters tall. So the scale is from 20 to 2, right? So it is 10 to 1, right? So 1 tenth of a scale. So in this equation, everything will become 1 tenth. So the equation now will be equals to h of t equals to 1 tenth of 9 is 0 0.9 and we have cos of 12t plus 1 tenth of 11 which is 1.1 so that becomes the equation still the units are same height is in meters and time is in seconds correct part e is a golf ball has a diameter of 4.3 centimeters if the red tip blade of the small windmill is as close to the ground as possible will it block the golf ball now for that, what is the height of the ball? It is given to us as diameter is 4.3. So when we say, let me push it a bit more forward. When we say diameter is 4.3, so that is going to be the height, right? So diameter equals to 4.3, it is in centimeters. To convert it in meters, we have to divide by 100. So it becomes 0 0.043 meters, correct? As you can see from the equation, the minimum height at any time is going to be how much? 1.1 meters, correct? So there is a lot of margin in between. So therefore, the ball is not going to get blocked with this model, right? I hope with this, we complete this test paper and I hope you appreciate, especially the last question, which is a very good question. And... Uh, I'd like you to go through this video once again. Try to understand how it was done. I hope that helps you. Thank you and all the best.